Welcome back to our coverage of the 2011 North American International Auto Show, the first major motor show of the year. It was certainly an apt forum for the first unveiling of the facelifted Jeep Compass. Jeep claims the revitalized SUV, which now looks like a baby Grand Cherokee, offers optional true off-road capability together with improved fuel economy and an uprated interior. New suspension settings are set to enhance ride comfort and all-terrain capability, while safety features have been beefed up too. The futuristic Kia KV7 concept MPV was another crown pleaser and underlines the strong design integrity of the Korean brand. The KV7 features a gullwing door, tabletop computer and lounge style seating while making full use of the box-like shape's interior space. Mercedes-Benz added some US-style glitz and glamour to its Detroit show presence with the reveal of a facelifted C-Class, the intended highlight. With more than a million sales thus far, the current C-Class has been hugely successful for the three-pointed star. The updated version features more than 200 new components. Most obvious are the redesigned front incorporating a revised bumper, different grille, redesigned headlights and a new bonnet. At the rear, the bumper, apron and taillight designs are new too, creating a fresher, more dynamic appearance. There are detail improvements to the interior execution as well. Not surprisingly, the drivetrain changes are aimed at improving efficiency and performance. Stop-start systems are standard across the range with blue efficiency status for all engines. Seven-speed auto gearboxes are standard. The upgrade package is applied to both sedan and estate versions of the C-Class. Estate cars remain much less popular than their sedan siblings in the local market, but the C-Class estate makes a compelling argument for premium-grade practical lifestyle motoring. The new C should arrive in SA before mid-year. The buzz on the mini stand was almost tangible, with the unusual mini pacement concept the obvious draw card. Think of it as the X6 of the mini world. It combines the tall stance and in-your-face attitude of the countryman with a two-door coupe configuration, creating another niche within a niche. The car's larger dimensions will no doubt find favor in the US market, and yes, it does seem set for production in Cooper S trim only and with the option of all-wheel drive. We expect the production version to debut at the Frankfurt Show this September. Porsche's long tradition of endurance racing with legendary race cars such as the record-breaking 917 Le Mans winner found unexpected acknowledgement at the Detroit Expo in the form of the Porsche 918 RSR, a futuristic racing car that Porsche calls a racing laboratory for the future. The 918 RSR combines design elements of the Geneva Show 918 Spider concept with a 911 GT3 R hybrid race car. A 420 kilowatt V8 is partnered by a Kerr system that powers two 75 kilowatt electric motors on the front axle for up to 8 seconds. It wasn't the supercar everyone was expecting, but it does indicate that Porsche is working on making the concept a reality on road and on track. Rather more pragmatic was Toyota's announcement of an extended Prius family, which will include this more compact Prius C. Shown in concept form at Detroit, the Prius C is set to become the Yaris of the hybrid world, with compact dimensions and wieldy handling attracting a younger, trendier audience, seeking a more eco-friendly alternative to the current small car crop. The Prius C is likely to be highly fuel efficient, practical and offer a host of entertainment and connectivity options more in line with its intended younger audience. The hybrid drivetrain is retained but in a smaller, more efficient form. The production version of the Prius C is due in 2012 and will join a new generation Prius V and a Prius plug-in hybrid. All three cars are expected to create a sexier, more high-tech image for the somewhat fuddy-duddy Prius brand. Detroit may not have been the biggest or brightest show, but it was relevant and compelling, promising a more buoyant 2011 motoring year.